Bill Schwab, WineBuys.com here. I'm here with Bruce from Starry Night, and I've always been a big fan of your Zins. We just tasted through the whites, uh, and I've always been a big fan of the, the Tom Feeney, a little bit more expensive for a Zin. I mean, if you're going to spend in that uh, $25, $30 range, it's definitely the way to go. But we're talking about your, I don't want to say your entry level, because I don't like the way that sounds, but your first tier, let's say, the Lodi. Yeah, the Lodi, and it's a great appellation. I mean, Lodi produces, and most people don't realize this, but it produces more grapes than Napa and Sonoma combined. And actually, most of the old vines Infidel in California comes out of the Lodi appellation. Um, just some really uh, wonderful fruit out there. Well, basically, if you're buying Zinfandel and it doesn't say it comes from Napa and Sonoma, it's probably coming from uh, Lodi, maybe a dollop of Amador, too. But um, I like the big brambleberry that comes out of it and the big cherries without being um, a lot of a lot of low dyes sometimes will get that sweet nature to them um, uh, but this doesn't have the sweet nature it just has the fruit uh, and a little bit of spice to it yeah we're really trying to go for a uh, um, more accessible low dyes in uh, you know it's it's totally dry it doesn't have residual sugar but the tannins are so soft uh, it's got a little bit of pepper, a great Zinfandel uh, for the summer out on the deck, uh, barbecuing or whatever. Um, just really uh, fruit uh, forward and food Burgers, friendly. chicken, uh, anything. If you're going to put a char on it, this is the way to go. Nice, and uh, uh, I think we've always sold this at about the fourteen ninety nine range, about the fifteen dollar range. Uh, but uh, uh, in between the whites and the reds, I put away the cruelty whip, got out the motivational whip, whipped the local supplier down, and we're going to be at about the twelve dollar range. We're yeah, great price, price. Uh, incredible price. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I hate discussing price with the uh, uh, winery person here because uh, I always get the "Ooh, you really can sell it that low." Uh, you should have seen. Uh, uh, August Sebastiani, when I uh, put out the price on his, oh, no. uh, on his lease pitch, <laughs> I thought he was going to have a coronary right there. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, we got to offer the best price we can to our wine buy customers. And this is a great, great drinker. If you're drinking a Rosenblum or a Klein uh, uh, Zin, you need to step up to the Starry Night. It's just a whole different level of complexity. Uh, unless you're spending $17, $18 with those folks, you're going to be happier here on the Starry Night. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Cool. And thank you.